This one having serious implications for Astralis with the opportunity to go right on into the grand finals to play Navi, or can Heroic bounce back in two maps? That's what we're looking to find out, and so are you. This, well, using hashtag ESL Pro League, you can tell us what you think. Time being, Hugo, take it away. T side, start for Astralis, Trace. That's what we want to see. What have they been cooking up in the kitchen recently? Out of nades on the pistol round, HE down, and flash to pop S tag into middle. Already, Kadian is backed all the way up to the site, and Heroic are gaining info on B. Looking at the short side, nade, uh, lining up nades for Monster, if there were to be a commitment, but that is far from the reality we live in. Kadian might even get bypassed on long here. Astralis could walk up toilet and take the A site right now, but Device is in this position and will be joined by S Tag. One and done corner. Kadian. Can he take anyone with him here as Astralis line up this util and already Heroic start to realize it's far too quiet. They send players walking back up. Device does spot Kadian out on long and tries to keep him here for some time. Finally winning that fight. Smoke in the bank. Tess has cut out and now already Heroic put in a retake situation. And having a retake and a four go. on five, the double nades into the plant. Uh, Glaive, wow. remember that one that from Vertigo? They drop him out of the round. A bit of revenge for a time gone by. And Tess says, in with the next. So now just three players left for Astralis. Oh, they're losing numbers by the second. Dupree trying to stay alive, trying to keep fighting, but he's gone as well. And it's going to fall onto Magisk. 1v3. One planted for him. He's tucked away. They know where he is now. They tap a shot past him. And there's the first tag. Magis, give him the second. And while Tessas does get the trade without the kit, he's also got time for the defuse as well. That is close, but heroic. They get the pistol. It's yeah. funny because we were actually talking about that exact pistol around the other day in the Cole game because I haven't seen anyone do that with the nades on overpass since Heroic did it a few seasons of Pro League ago, right? They they line up nades outside B and they either stop bomb plant or they throw them in monster. And then if it is an A attack, you do that. You rotate up fast, you throw the nades on default and you kill the planter. In this case, Astralis did manage to get the bomb down in time, but it still set Heroic up for the retake, right? Immediately killing Glaive. Tess has pushed us out of the bank off the back of it. And and yeah, I, I'd love to see more of that. It's a great call for Heroic, and it's a fantastic way to start the second map. They have to pull the full reverse sweep on Astralis' pick here. Better late than never, though. The Lil's out for Astralis in the second round. They buy off the back of the, uh, the plant. Now, this is still a very, very good buy for Astralis. You know, you got a lot of Galils, which uh, are a weapon, certainly, and then S-Tag as well with the AK. And on the other side, you know, only three rifles in play with the Scout and MP9 to kind of supplement it. There's almost more firepower here for Astralis than there is for Heroic, and a three-man stack in this B site. That's what they're going to have to contest with here. Still haven't given much away in terms of where this is looking to end up. These mid players have been spotted and both of them tagged. So they're going to leave mid and regroup with the rest of Astralis. This boost has been poised to come in all round long and they're trying to wait for the perfect moment to do it. They boost up Glaive. Doesn't see anything from his perch just yet. 30 seconds. So eventually Astralis is going to have to make this B play happen. And the timing for that... Might be just about now, as noise is made over at short side. Now utility starting to go in as well. Smoke into heaven. Nobody committed yet, but surely it's got to happen soon. And with oh, the bomb getting dropped at Monster, that's the round over and done with as it stands. They leave it down to the wire, and they come to pay the price for it. They can't even get out of here with all these weapons. That is a disastrous ending to this force buy. For Astralis, you know, you leave it so late in the round and everything has to go right in the moment that that bomb gets dropped. The round is over. Magis dies after time as well. Didn't even react to getting peaked. It looked like he was looking away, looking at his mini-map or the clock. He just got full swung and didn't even fire a shot. That is an awful shame for Astralis. Maybe a little bit rusty on overpass. But as we saw back on Vertigo, 13-6 down, they pulled the map back, so you can't count them out from a win. Uh, not the start they would have wanted. Heroic 2-0 up. Great spray for Borup as well. Dropping the bomb as the smoke faded inside a monster. Kadian's going to peek mid with a scout. At least see some deegs. 
Very strong buy for Heroic and Astralis kind of just cobbling together a force. They had to. They knew the Magis had nothing remaining, and so buying around that fact, giving him a deagle. Estag going to get repeaked from Tessez as the attention was drawn to the deep long player. Heroic give up this control with a man advantage. And that does at least let Astralis pick up the Galil, but two players pressuring B in the meantime, walking into Stown. And I mean walking right into him too. Stown sustains some damage, but Bora following up that grenade will be all that Dupree wrote. Now Magis going 18 HP with the scout. That's one on a test. It's just really not enough damage being sent down range. Very low Heroic will end that round on HP, but it's actually them that pick it up as well. So, undutably, some sort of pistol buy here for Astralis. Yeah, it, it's not every day you see a game start like this, right? With a second round force that goes so wrong that you lose players after time. And, and so as a result, you actually end up taking like the, the first four rounds, bringing very, very little to the table. This is like a, a free round almost for Heroic. Now, there are still pistols. There is still armor, right? But it's not like you don't look at this buy and go, yep, we can 100% win with this. It's going to take something special. And already losing Magisk early on. The boost here for Cadian as well. Glaive has actually already gotten past the boost. So that could be a bit of misinformation. But with so many players short side, they spot him. And they don't even really have to challenge him here. In fact, setting foot in the connector just puts you in Glaive's domain. And so they just give it up, right? They take the five on three. Very, very happy to do so. Good nade as well, throwing over from Nico. S-Tag waiting outside of this A site with the Deagle for something to get given over. There's a nade with the peak from Cadian. And the utility getting its revenge against Astralis. Yeah, Heroic looking like a terrifying team to come up against, right? Teamwork is so good. Already we're seeing some great ideas. I love the nade uh, on the door combined with the scout boost on short. Peaking with their HEs. Astralis getting thrown out of the water in this round. Five on two. And just looking to take the A site. Bomb in tow. Dupree, Dupree flashed out rather. Spam and the smoke will do it. And nice. that's uh, surely one way to take a kill. Kadian will clean it up with three. And Heroic 4-0 up. The old triple eco for Astralis. As they were, as Harry said, basically force to force. So now comes the big buy. The first of many on this T side. And they don't have the Yorp yet. Well, we've seen that these slow, slow starts are something that Astralis can deal with. But aggression into mid, heroic. They've got all five over on upper. There's no one on B right now. B is empty, in fact. They just swarm over mid. And now they pressure device. They deal with him. S-Tag is clearing out the B site. And quite soon, he's going to realize that it's clear. So the rest of Astralis get here. That's a very interesting call for Heroic to make. It's left them in a retake and losing Cadian in heaven. That's a bit of a shame, right? Because a five on four, you can still head into that comfortably. The problem now is that there's still a lot of utility on Astralis. And while Heroic have a lot of their own on the other side, it's going to favor the T's because they can just keep re-smoking these angles and force Heroic to go through them. Dupree even boosted up into heaven. Surely you're not ready for this if you're Heroic. Glaive holding close to the smoke, spamming and running away. Another man dropped for Heroic. This might just have to be the save, really. So much time ticked off of this bomb. Dupree still lurking in the heavens. And he could deny these weapons getting held onto for the Heroic squad. Going deep. Does get bested by Nico. Astralis going to get there first. And that is all on the back of the quick scout from S-Tag into that B site with quite the surf at the end. You love that. It's just something very satisfying about a surf away from the B bomb site on overpass. Yeah, we don't have enough of those uh, in, in maps, right? We don't have enough movement. Uh, skill you know, jumps. Yeah, skill jumps, right? They took them out of nuke. There's some cool things still left in the game. I love that idea for Heroic, but the execution does not work out right. As you said, starting off with losing Cadian and Upper, that was a real shame. But uh, it would have even been nice to have one player be there for Heroic. Just some information, just someone to hold off. But... Yeah, go, coming back in with four up with Dupree in the heaven. I think he just spotted by Stown on the retreat. That's why Nico's ready for him. AWP still in Cadian's hands, but it's Device taking a brunt of the damage in the early of the round. 
And you look at this in a different way too. You say, okay, well, what if it's alrighty then, S tag, VAC, of course. You can look at it that way. I haven't seen that shot land in a while. Yeah, you usually just do that out of spawn, right? As fast as you can, catching CTs get aggressive, but that's just a random mid-round spray. It works wonders. It's about time Astralis have one of their own, right? Heroic managed to, or Borob specifically managed to kill players boosting up outside of B through the wood there as well. So Astralis is time to shine, and Tessa's re-aggression. An eye for two eyes, that's what they say, Hugo. A fair trade. Oh, they're going to go through. There's no flash being lined up. They're just waiting in the smoke fade. It could be good. S-Tag, he realizes, but it's all too little too late. Borup and Nico combining for the kill. And uh, now getting out of there are Astralis. Bomb left in con. Still Tessa's on long, yet to be seen. Avoided by device. But for good reason, he's gone up to the site. And Kadian is there in time to deal with him. Tess is pushing a toilet. Here's the rotate down. And oh, he's a little bit late. He lets Glaive get by. That's at least info. Heroic now know that it's going to be a B play. And if they lose the site, Tessa's can slip the knife in the back. Yeah, he's kind of like the ace in the hole at this point. And now he has struck. It's Dupree that falls first and the remaining two players of Astralis thereafter. That was an easy round for Heroic. And if you're Astralis, you might be sitting here thinking, you know what? Maybe our overpass these side, not all we chopped it up to be just yet. Yeah, not the start. And Heroic have had great answers, right? Like, they, they've been cheeky. They've been doing little smoke weights. They've been pushing five mid. Uh, even, even if it hasn't been the most successful, they've had ideas. Clearly coming in somewhat prepared for this map to be picked in the series. They knew they wouldn't get nuke for free again. At least not as the pick of Astralis. And what does that leave? Well, familiar territory. But again, we're seeing a very similar start to this map as how Vertigo began too. T side. So the beginning for Astralis. And they pulled that one out somehow, some way, didn't they? Tackle timeouts too coming in for Astralis. You can tell they're feeling the heat. They're feeling the pressure. Yeah, it's nice that we're finally getting to see the AWP on device, right? But he doesn't have armor behind it. He's glass cannon. And he'll have a choice between fighting Cadian or Stown in this round. Stown with a very, very good mid spawn. It wouldn't surprise me if we see him take a peek here on the back of it. Cadian's even got a second AWP at long, so Stown actually heads into the connector. He does get here quickly, but so does Magis. They hear that AWP ring out. Oh, not again. Another <laughs> kill through walls. This time, though, it's spamming beneath oh. the boost into the B site. Magis to open the round up. These spams have been kind to Astralis. And this time, they don't waste any time, right? They just group up immediately after getting that kill, looking to hit this B site fast. We're looking at Borup, and we're looking at Tessas, the two AKs in this round for Heroic to try and rise above it all. Then as a man at the sandbags, he did not sandbags, barrels rather, and he gets found by Magisk, looking for a bit more. It's all very, very chaotic right now, and Tessas finally beats him, but blind as a bat, they deal with him. Stown's what? orb dropped as well, a nut shot from Dupree to get it. Finally, Astralis, they remedy this problem. They get a second on the board and they leave Kadian with no choice but to hold on it to his orb. Yeah, that pick at the start certainly helps for Magis, but I love the call that's made right after. Like, just commit, group five, hit monster, go quick. As, you know, we've seen many rounds, Heroic have re-aggressed and grabbed that info. Think back to Tessas in the toilets. And Heroic have had stacks in the right place. Not this time. Astralis get a kill, they hit the go button. Astralis go kill. <laughs> okay. And they do. Up to two now on this T side. Slow and steady wins the race. Kadian should be able to get away with this AWP. He's being pushed from toilet, but Glaive's going to go past the long. Tons of money in the pocket for Heroic still. So they've got somewhat of a cushion. Look at this. Oh. Stown Bell even saw him. Bell even had time to react to that shot. And this time back to Solo Warp, right? Obviously, Stown does lose it in the previous round, but uh, yeah, we just haven't seen a lot from his second AWP in this series yet. Maybe things will change moving forward, or maybe he'll just stick to the rifle. Nade mid misses for Tessas. And again, the monster aggression. Magis spots it this time around. Astralis know what they're up against, and they're stacked to deal with it. Repeat for Magis finds a trade, and that favors the T's. 
Yeah, Cadian's still here with this AWP, and they do start to push a man through short side, but Dupree is ready for it. Heroic, they're feeding the beast that lies at Monster, and they find themselves in this two on four now. It's Cadian and Tessez. They're gonna have to stand and deliver, and there's still so much time left at Astralis, they can end up anywhere, and that's one of the scary things right about now for Heroic. Currently split one-on-one -on -one between either bomb site. That might change based on what these individuals see. Oh, this is so creepy. Dupree is right there. And if he even tries to move out of this corner, surely he's dead. Also, look at Device on this minimap. He's been scoped up, full Cyclops, all the way through long. And he's now going to make the call that this A site is clear. Tessas does that gamble that rotation. Oh. I want to take a leg cheeky, shot, do you? Cheeky little Dupree gives KD in the legs, but that's about all he'll give him. All the skin he's showing. As now this A site belongs to Astralis. They move in uncontested. Now there's two ways to look at this. Like, you know you've got a two on three at A because you've just spotted Dupree outside of the B site. You just don't know how deep Astralis have gotten. And that's the scary part here. And Device is very deep indeed. He's all the way up in heaven. Nah. Sometimes you gotta play the round full scope. And then when you finally see someone, you're not scoped in, of course. Easy round for Astralis. We're gonna come out of it four alive. Device grabbing the last two in the round. What a hero. Did he just grab the org over his AWP? Look, man. That's some confidence, man. That's an expensive gun to drop. Unless someone picked it up and I didn't see anyone nearby him. So that's mental. Like. You know, maybe you like the org and you're going to be willing to trade it for an AK or vice versa, but the AWP for an org? Damn, you know you're against pistols in this round, right? So that could be part of the feeling for Astralis, but just an expensive reinvestment. You've got to rely on yourself getting more T-side rounds to build that money, and this could be one of them. Heavy nades in mid. Device is ready, but the org Ooh. is not. Yeah, gives that AUG right back to its founder. Oh dear, Cadian's AWP here as well, and a second man does get into the site, but that's the thing, Astralis, they've got to get into B, and they've got to go now, because look at the connector. It is overrun by Heroic. They get into the site, Cadian is still here with that AWP, but the nade brought him down low. S-Tag holding on to Con. they rush through, and there's one, and the second as well, trying to keep this all under wraps, but Stown does get the trade, and Heroic, they're spurred on now. They didn't really have much coming into this round, and so a three on two, they're keen to make the most of it. Magisk and Dupree inside of the site. There's one for Magisk, but he's brought down very, very low. Borup going to finish the job, and it's down to a 1v1. The low HP Cadian versus Dupree. Time ticking against Cadian. And he's got to find this kill. He's got to find it quick. Dupree dancing with the stars <laughs> right now. Wow. And Cadian will get the frag, but it's still four on the board for Astralis. Oh, that is an uh, unbelievable round from the start to the finish, right? Device swapping his AWP out gets nothing with the org and it almost undoes Astralis, right? Stown picks it up and comes in with two kills in the round and even Dink's magic low, allowing the pistol to finish it off. Cadian either had to immediately go for it or hope that Dupree gives him a kill and he does until the timer is already ticked away. Astralis find four back to the AKs, no AWP needed. Cadian does have his saved as he has been getting away with it round after round, but is it worth its while? Again, a strong start for Heroic, gets closer and closer, 5-1 to 5-4. Or back in con. Was, was was that Heroic who blew the door open in the first place, or was it Astralis? Both team? teams have been doing it, especially... I've seen Heroic do it twice. Yeah, I thought it was, but but Cadian looked very, very startled by it, and then had to draw his attention away from Con. Nico was also crouching to boost down on top of his head at the half wall, the half boost, so I think, yeah, maybe it was just something that Cadian wasn't ready for. It's a shame, because he was literally milliseconds away from finding Glaive down in the connector. Now Stown flashed in at short side. There are players here, two of them to be precise, for either side. And no one gets that information. Magisk has snuck out through mid. He's got guys in connector with him and he's got that bomb on his back. He walks into the prying eyes of Cadian and that there is the bomb dropped oh. in the toilets. Tess says, had a chance to keep it under control. Psych. Or heroic, but Glaive will trade it out and keeps the bomb belonging to Astralis. Device, meanwhile, 
down through long and no one's even considering this for heroic this could be their undoing kadian oh. and nico both looking short side device i think he's seen the barrel of the orb and there's one locked in doesn't know about nico N oh, oh oh this is weird Nico's trying to play the trigger discipline he's trying to bait the rest of astralis into a they don't know that he's here this could be huge yeah he let device go but it was all to try and pick up the round on his own there's the kill onto the bomb platter but he's got to get more out of this and there's almost a follow-up but not quite if he gets one more kill there he might have just saved the round for heroic but not meant to be and Borup left all alone having to try and hold on to this m4 a really nice idea from yeah. nico right so close it's just a delay of S tag, right? He's just a few seconds too late. And that's such a benefit to Astralis as Nico, he has to stop the bomb plan in order to win the round, therefore giving away his position. S tag has time to, to you know, go in for the trade rather than just be caught looking the wrong way. That's a really nice attempt. It, it, Nico did everything he could, but without both kills, it's a done round. It's Astralis building and building some more. Borup saving his gun should get away just fine, even with device around the corner. And even at the end of the round, you could tell Astralis still trying to apply pressure. Still not at ease with them having any weapons whatsoever. Yeah, look at this. Oh, just seconds difference. 10 on the clock when Nico dropped the bomb. The trade was imminent. And Astralis get the plant of the round with it. Broken by again for Heroic. Saved AK, supported by an SMG and pistols. They've been very aggro on these mid plays. Astralis have been defaulting on the right rounds, right? They know when Heroic are broke. They know when they feel the need to get aggressive. And Astralis are usually waiting for it. Two in connector. Magic being loud with a jump nade. Should bang out someone at the top of the stairs, but backing up is Tessas. Nade again from the CT side. Oh, the combo with a flash and Dupree fully blind mows him down. Heroic had a lot of ideas around this door nade from flashes to boosts. And even then, even the idea is great, but the execution, well, comes from Astralis killing another player at long. This round is as good as done. Yeah, they know where Nico is and, you know, 5v1, they don't even have to go walking into him. So they can just move into this MDA site with all the time in the world. Nico, anywhere he looks, he's going to find some pretty stiff opposition from Astralis. Two players here holding short side and Dupree is there to close it out with three. The hat trick in the round. Astralis now up in the lead again already. Some similar feels as that Vertigo game with a strong start from Heroic, then Astralis finding their footing and just not letting off the gas. We got this reinvestment coming back through from the Heroic side. Orp on Cadian, that's what you want to see. Kit for Stown, that's the only kit in the round. Something to bear in mind once it gets down to the nitty gritty. No Orp in sight for Astralis, purposeful. Yeah, worth noting, since Device traded his orb for an orc, he's not bought one back, even with many opportunities to do so. So that you know, does make the decision seem a lot more purposeful than anything. Astralis absolutely fine with the rifles on this T side, and they go back to B short with the smoke deep con, knowing that it has been naded time after time. And just clearing connector. Nico setting up flashes towards the monster. Four on B for Heroic. Not wanting to give away any early kills. Astralis even watching for the triple boost, worth noting. Ready for anything and everything. And with what Heroic have been showing in the CT side, I don't blame Astralis for being ready for that. Oh, we're talking of boost, though. It's Device going up on long. Oh, give it another go, maybe. Get, did he get the info? Looking for a player on top of the flower beds, but Cadian was a little further back, and so I don't think anything can be gained off of that for now. No longer able to stand on the balloons. Still want to play for it, though. They still want to give it a whirl. Towards long, that is. Cadian slides on out. Just a creepy crawl out, and oh. he's going to get owned by device. Who needs an orb? Yeah, basically. Nico and Tessas do this little crossfire setup, but Nico's going to get checked first and dealt with. Tessas on the swing is only good for one in response, and so already Heroic are gearing up to save again. But do free. He's not a fan of letting them keep this money going strong over on the CT side. Borup should be good for the trade, and he is. A 1v3. Likely just going to be the AK ducking out of there. That is indeed the case. Oh. Glaive hears all of this yeah, as well. <laughs> Up the ladder we go. 
Oh man, poor guy. Oh, it's device close. might have this. All right, Barb gonna get away with the AK for now. But even more bodies coming his way. Glaive down through Con. S target middle. Oh, that's Barb. Oh, yeah. See ya. Sorry, bud. There it is. Glaive removing that one attempt at the save. A team ace for Astralis. Seven on the board. And once again, the money is gone for Heroic. First tactical timeout coming in for Heroic, too. You got to wonder what it is they're going to strategize about. Big shot there from Katie at long. Or excuse me, device onto Katie at long. Doesn't get much prettier than that. Yeah, and every time Heroka tried to save, right, you know, they've been getting away with the orb from time to time. Other than that, it's been brutal for Astralis, punishing everyone they can. Money is a mess. A timeout from the CT side as Heroic tried to spread this cash around. Deagle armor certainly available. You can get some nades as well. We've seen some cool ideas there. But not really many, like, bomb plant situations, right? I mean, Astralis are getting plants, and they're winning rounds off of that due to these saves, but it's not like Heroic have ever really tried to go for any of these retakes, right? Other than that, like, five-man on five -man push mid where they attempted down on B, but Astralis have already taken heaven control. They had a defuse on the pistol with a nade set up, but, yeah, other than that, it's just been Astralis right now running the board. Device continues his display in middle, finding Kadian first. Ice is like, I don't even know why you guys say rifling's hard. It's easy. They even spot these players trying to go aggressive. It's short. And with all four, four heroic in this B site, maybe they entice Astralis in to deal with these short players. They know about Tessas, but they don't know about Stown. He's already crossed to the sandbags, and he is going to blindside Glaive. Oh, of course. This time of course. The wall bang again, of course. And now Borup's Deagle Ooh. delivering onto Device. Leaving Magisk and S tag in a two on three up against the uh, the partial investment on Heroic. There is a chance now for Heroic, a very real one at that. They fall back at the B site. They give it up and they play the boost. Now, the danger to this, right, is the moment that gets spotted, Astralis can move into B knowing that there's no resistance outside of these CT players. And if that bomb goes down, this could be a very different round. So you need Tessas to do something from this. And there it is, the Deeg onto S tag. Majeski might have the info that they're both in CT. But he's all alone. Let's grab the bomb. Smoke down at bridge. Gonna get it planted. Both players for Heroic going up into heaven. Magisk swings for the first, gets the info on one of them. Doesn't spot anyone at CT either. It's this double heaven setup that he's just not aware of. There's one of them. Still doesn't know that Tessez is there, so bought down even lower. And Borup now arriving at short. Magisk, oh, he's just going to get no. away. He just gets away in time. Now taking the fight at short, but Borup holds his own, and the defuse going to come in. Heroic, get yeah. it done with Deagles. Talk about the impact of the Deagle right there. Tessez, the bread and butter of that round for Heroic. Right place, right time, right crosshair placement. Yeah, Borup as well even gets a kill on A with a Deeg dropping. I think it was Device coming up long. Think about the amount of rounds that have gotten hairy, gotten crazy because of, wow, <laughs> because of Device creeping up long, shooting Kadian in the back of the head, flanking B. There's been so many of those examples. So Borup and Tessas really do the heavy lifting for Heroic in that eco round. It gets loosened up a little. Magic, Magic's dancing in the sight. That almost looked like, you know, perfect for him, right? Getting the info on the drop. Even though he didn't know about Borup, he walks away as Borup comes around the short side. There was a chance, but Heroic, they won't give you much. Six to seven, recovering on the CT side near the end of things. Can they win the half? They've been given a chance. Double AWP again, Stout. Again, quiet in this map. He was the bottom performer on Vertigo. He's had this double AWP in the series, yet to have any kind of huge impact with it. It's got to pay off now. It's a huge investment. The mid molly extinguished, but you hear that noise. If you're heroic, you know there's players out in mid. So that's going to give Kadian his time to shine now with this orb. Tessa's challenging in the connector. Oh. He's going to win that fight out onto Magisk. So a man advantage for heroic as they look to try and even out that scoreline once again at the end of the half. I like how heroic have defaulted back to 
de uh, needing door every round and just spamming for it, boosting for it, flashing the con player in from B. Right there is a player in heaven shooting Glaive in the legs. Stralis, they've lost the player. They're just going to group and hit B, but it's already down, starting things off with this orb and taking a five on three for Heroic. Now we've seen Astralis in these kind of situations look for the answers inside of this B site. And now would be the perfect time to do that again. We're just two here for Heroic. There will probably come a time where we see someone leave A. That smoke there thrown from inside of the A bomb site by Nico. That falls late and blocks off this point for device. They're going to look to boost Glaive up. Uh -oh. There is a kill there. Stown walks into it, but they don't get away with it. The nade might. Brings him even lower, but Stown is still a threat. However, Glaive is quick to deal with him. They run past each other in Monster. Device knows that oh, someone no. is here somewhere, but he's pincered between Nico and the Monster Man, and it's all left on to Dupree, who's got to be a Monster Man up into the site, looking for them, but none of the kills given over. It's seven on the board for Heroic, and Dupree dies after time. That's fine, though. It's last round of the half. They have the money for it. He, he calculated it in his brain before even going in for that peak. I imagine someone even told him, yeah, you can you can give it a go, because any kill you get there, any money you take away from Heroic is is worth it, uh, as far as Astralis are concerned, and you can see that their cash has no issue. Device even has the AWP, he's back on it as well, right? Especially noticing this double orb of Heroic and it finally coming to fruition. Great play from Stown, actually getting away with kills as well this time and even surviving after that nade combo with the boost hits him. Back to two on B for Heroic. And Nico alone in the connector. Is he hiding? No, okay, he's up the stairs. He looked very close on the minimap, but they're creeping and crawling up on him. And Astralis know at any point a flash could come through this doorway. And Nico could go for the peak, but right now he's tucked, waiting. Spam from B, keeping the pressure. I just, oh, the double check, and he goes back for more, getting that kill. Doesn't believe it the first time around. Cadian drops device in middle after he took down Tessas, and Astralis know where one of these orbs are. They go down and into the depths below, back to that B bomb site. Cadian is arriving on this flank while the rest of Astralis try and get into B. There is still a man here to deal with KD and both players for Heroic now down in the site. They lose the con rotate, oh no, the but Borup has put up a double. Finally cancelled out by Magis. Down here, left in a 1v2. He's had a quiet game on Vertigo. Just as quiet here on Overpass, but this second orb now needs to deliver and he can't do pre. Locks in eight for Astralis at the end of the first half. This second map is as close as we can get it. Find out if Astralis lock in a grand final or if this gets taken to a third in just a moment.
May the good Lord Gaben bless you with strength and accuracy, or at least to the T that we found ourselves here, the halfway point of this matchup, and one that could see Astralis just gliding on in to the grand finals against Navi. It's eight to seven and a half, heroic looking to bounce back from that one round deficit. And for us, we turn our attention back into Overpass, where the series is kicking off. The free Glaive and S tag heading ever so quickly towards the fountain. Nico gonna be the only one there. Well, what that does is set up the rest of Heroic to go towards this B site. Device and Majisk will be the ones to answer the call, should they do that in a Fury's pace. And there's that call. Cadian, no one home. Ooh, they double back. They were going to hit B, but they lost their short player and don't know what remains inside of the site. That would have actually been a great call for Heroic, as Astralis, while they are heavy in connector, they only have one player in B for that point. Instead, Heroic, they go around the world and back again through T-Spawn and into that A site. But Astralis, they've seen players here, so they know that, okay, things have gone awfully quiet. Where have they gone? Long. Magisk is about to get the info. Yeah, Magisk could be the difference maker here. Heroic really trying to keep Astralis guessing. Now, the problem is they don't really know where Astralis could be either. And this heavy connector presence that still Three. exists with two could make all the difference. Up they come. Dupree spots the man in oh. toilets and now sees Tessas with the bomb. That there is maybe going to pull an early rotation from Dupree in through the B site. Magisk ready and waiting at long, but can't connect anything right away. Stown will pipe up with one, and Glaive, they've already wrapped him in the site. There's the 5-7, in oh, with no. a double. They've given a few to Glaive, and now we're into a two-on-two. S-Tag two. arriving up through the connector. Dupree rotated through that B site, but uh -oh. Borup bests him. Oh, no. We're going to try and rotate down to B. This is going to be very, oh. very close. I think Borup should be all good. Just barely. Ooh, he's going to get there. Wow, what a, a crazy second goal. left to plod, and S-Tag still clearing out the A site. That reality... Now that bomb has gone down in B, dawns on him just a second too late. There's a man in heaven. Stown is there to lock it in. And I love that from Heroic. They they know the timings. They rotate down and they get there with a second to spare. That's a clencher, isn't it? One second left as they get the plant in. Like, I commend Heroic for going for that call. But what a move. Imagine if that lost on the round. Luckily, there was a player waiting for the rotation, but that would have even still come after time. Crazy stuff. And that has set Heroic up for a second half run now. AK's out. Force for Astralis looking to break the cash early back. My, oh my. Big round for Stown as well, right? Nice to see getting up into the action on that A site. Deeg's down on the lower bomb site right now. Scout and device moving back to A. That's where Heroic are taking control. Very late out of middle, right? Waiting for aggression. None gets delivered. Now, Device and Dupree, they don't know it yet, but there's a lot of danger in these toilets. Device on his scout lands the tag, but that's it. And Dupree was meant to follow up there. He doesn't. And so in the absence of that, Astralis have got to rotate players off of B. This is heard by Stown, who's been it short the entire round. And so Heroic now going down on that B rotate. They're already past Magisk and his defense here. Yeah, it's going to get a lot dirtier before it gets any cleaner. At least for the side of Astralis. Just a few seconds away from seeing a bomb plan here for Heroic. Majisk and company backing away. No armor. They can maybe hold on to these deagles or perhaps even take a weapon out of Cadian's hands, who seems to be lingering around over here in the toilet. Oh, it's about time. They get one kill. Can Glaive follow up? There's a gun dropped over there at least, but Tessis is hounding him down on the flank. AK picked up by Glaive, but Stown's on the A site as well. And so no survivors here for Astralis. Only one death for Heroic. Pretty good anti-eco. And there's one more of that where that came from. Astralis was just a flash. Imagine they're going to hop somewhere, either middle, monster, get aggressive as a unit. Only USPs. You don't want to overinvest into this one. First rifle round coming around the corner. Heroic, double digits should be theirs. Yeah, you'd much rather feed into these AKs than these two Mac-10s. 
pure Astralis at least. But look at Heroic. Ooh, Tessas, here come the USPs. I, I want to say that because of investing in that one flash, device is going to be $100 short of an AWP and armor. Not 100% sure on the maths there. You know, you don't do maths while you're live. That's like the old saying. Ooh. Oh, dear. Oh, Nico tried to play trigger discipline and does get away with one, but now the kind of success he might have <laughs> is a little bit up in the air. These USPs are able to find him. He's just trying to stop that AK from getting away, and while he does, eventually he's dropped in the process. If device gets a kill, Harry, it may never matter. So there's that at least to worry about. But uh, yeah, device, he often w has no issue going for glass cannon, right? And just get a flash smoke with it. We'll see if it plays into the round at all, as Heroic don't seem to be heavy hunting these guns down. Down certainly ain't giving away his AK on his own. Nice grenade for Kadian. Wow. Touchdown wow. pass from yeah. Kadian even. Good grief. Oh, device. Oh, no, no kill today. But he'll save the AK. And actually, he's all fine. Yeah, I was wrong. Oh, oh nice well. try, man. Nice I tried. Yeah, but it was still cool throw regardless. I mean, not on your half. I mean, obviously you were wrong. But <laughs> I'm talking about this grenade from way downtown. The Hail Mary. Oh, I thought we'd pop up and see it. But... You understand. Now Heroic up 10 to 8. We're going to see the weapons come out for Astralis. Now would be the time to bounce back to keep it competitive. As they did in the first map. Vertigo going their way. I want this to go all three, though. Yeah. And if anyone else is in that same boat, you're hoping that Heroic can keep showing this, uh, this face over on the T side. Now, a lot of monster. This is just looking like a... All in B play. Device has pushed mid. And so he's got this information that it's hey. looking like it's going to be B. And that means Astralis, they're fine to keep three players here. The old orb flank. Heroic. They might be about to run to their demise. They open up onto Glaive, but there's more where that came from. S tag playing around this smoke. In with one. Chip down from the monster side. But Madge is here to help out. Let's keep his teammate alive. Uh -oh. S tag on fire. Still going. And there's the flank from Device. It is all left on to Cadian. Mac 10 and a dream in the 1v3. And S Tag is there to snuff him out. It's nine on the board. And now the money. Still going to facilitate a purchase here for Heroic. You need someone to show some generosity to Tessas. Cadian can bring the AWP in as well. Yeah, great little uh, hold there from S Tag and Magis, right? Magis covering S Tag's back on that smoke. He lets the bomb get into the site before taking the kill. Somehow survives on top of the barrels, getting mollied and even aggresses further. There's that B monster smoke coming out of spawn and heroic back to this B bomb site. Will it be a fast rush? They at least set up quick, but taking the short water instead. Flashed out is down. Eats a nade on the way in. Imagine just spams the smoke in anticipation. Beautiful work. Astralis up a man into this gun round. This is going to put Heroic on Eco, right? So, a lot of pressure. Nico doing his best device impression, running up long as fast as he can, but device might hear it. Uh -oh. oh, dear. The orb coming in with a peek, and he gets the info. There's the shot from device. Not a hard one for him at all. Dupree hears them coming above, and that could be the bomb. Delivered to his feet. It goes up and then back down. A nade to follow, and Dupree with a package in his control. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one. Fortune cookie that Heroic did not want. even harder than dropping pop longer ladder oh the lineup almost, almost yeah almost, yeah. almost right <laughs> for borup it's kind of a tease he can look down the ladder he sees the bomb just kind of hanging out it's just sitting there what are you gonna do about it borup what are you gonna do about it smoke drop by dupree it's closer looking for a little bit of a one-way he's got a nice one like that and at this point, if they don't get the bomb in the next few seconds, the round's done via time anyway. There's no way Astralis would offer up four kills with the players on all sides of the map. And so Heroka, they've already thrown in the towel. They're just holding, hiding, waiting. And Astralis might push in the final few seconds to get these kills after time. Certainly enticing. I mean, look at how constricted heroic are right now they can't go anywhere astralis have closed in on every available exit so they know exactly that these two players are just waiting over here toward t ramp here comes dupree but not gonna go up the ladder just grabs the ak 
I like that call for Astralis because they need their own money on the CT side anyway, right? Like it hasn't built up. They haven't got cash to play with. They only just found their first rifle win on this CT side a moment ago. So yeah, it makes sense. Build your own cash before you start worrying about breaking your opponents. And they know that saving guns there is actually like, while it's nice for Heroic to have weapons in this round, they wouldn't have had them otherwise. It still kind of screws Cadian. Look, he's got nothing remaining. And so even when his teammates get lost bonus, he'll be stuck at 2 to 3k. So, yeah, already a bit of a problem. But the benefit of that is Kadian can still try and win the round here for Heroic with this orb. Or up alongside him. It's a two-man army. Hey, look at Dupree. Pretty sure he saw the jump spot there. Just enough to give him the, the creeps to back away. Look at this. Things are about to get real strange out here at long. KD with AWP. They're going to try to fade a shot out here at the end of long from the Astralis side. Just simply not there, though. Glaive not trying to fight them. Doesn't have an AWP. Doesn't really have that range. Dupree's going to be there to back them up. So far, they're lining them up. Tessis found himself in a solo duel, but has some help from Stan, who comes in from the bathrooms. Nice bait there for Tessis as well, right? Like, gives him a jiggle, draws his attention to the fight, and then he gets sidelined. Close line. 10 to 10. 4 to 4. Acadian's the one guy with armor. He's also the one donning the AWP as well. These two rifles are going to get aim punched if they try and long out a fight. So this has got to be swift from Heroic. It really, really does. Cadian leading the charge with the AWP. Has the rest of the gang here to help him out, and they're going to go through the Molotov. Glaive was not ready for it. Device now holding down the toilets, but this site is still falling into the hands of Heroic. Whether they like it or not, there's a kill onto Nico, and this bomb plant can't go down just yet because of the presence of the guy in toilets. Cadian, good for is. one in the bank, but with 10 seconds left, and S-Tag doubling up. Astralis, they'll get that round back under control. They take the lead again. And because this is such a close, close game thus far, I think the only real one true way to settle this would be to ask the Twitch chat who the best Danish team is. Is it one for Astralis or is it two for Heroic? Have you done, Trace? I have given the mods something to do today. That's what I've done there. But 11 to 10, it doesn't get much closer than that. Yeah, all the power in the hands of Astralis right now. I can't believe S-Tag even stays on the site in that two-on-one with 10 seconds up, right? KD was looking for the bomb, and S-Tag just dones him to close it. Such a confident player. We have really seen this guy come into his own inside of Astralis. I can't wait to see more from Bobski as well. But right now, Astralis looking to get to that grand final spot. Five rounds away from it. Na'Vi waiting in the wings. Already coming in through that upper bracket. Tech on KD matches his push monster. Nico doesn't realize, and he's walking in blind, dead through the wall. Bombs even dropped in the con side. That nade on the door. Stralis using their own tricks against Heroic. And that reaggression on short, not coming through. Glaive sets up outside of the monster instead. Heroic three outside B, but with this control for Astralis, as long as Glaive gets the information, Magis can come in on that retake. Rotates are a long way away. Other than that, Magis Ooh. turning around a non-pivotal time. Borup walks through the smoke, and Magis is there to deal with him. Stown expects more after Borup kills Glaive, but it's actually an MPB site. He doesn't know it, but he's stalling his own clock out. 30 seconds going back for Magis, who hasn't even moved a muscle. Patience is a virtue for Astralis. Three kills on Magis and 12 rounds. Yeah, we're going to see a, a timeout of sorts come in here, and you can just imagine being in heroic shoes, what it's got to be like to not know about every single twist and turn of the way, or even the first one on your way to a bomb site, or on the way back, really. It's like Astralis are starting to dial in the Astralis that puts them anywhere at any time with lethality, which is a very scary premise. Again, we are at a timeout. Yeah, I think one of the more, like, uh, one of the more exciting prospects around this series and one of the cool storylines is just that for some, right, after that heroic domination against Astralis, they were saying, like, Oh, our Heroic, the best team in Denmark right now. And I think it would have taken you to beat them again the second time around before anyone even started to consider that, right? And here, now that we have that matchup, we have the repeat. You know, Heroic, they want to be regarded as the team that were able to not just beat Astralis once, but they want to be the team that kept beating them. 
And that might not happen now, right? It might all get put back up in the air again. If when it matters more, if when it matters most, Astralis come in swinging and get it done in two. And the cool thing about that is if that does happen and Astralis take this series, we get that Navi Astralis matchup, right? The storyline there, like Astralis, are we back in their era? Did it ever end? Is it going to continue? Navi, the team that almost could, so often beaten in these grand finals by Astralis, releasing the playoffs. And they are in great form right now as well. We've seen Electronic and Simple showing well, up. It would also be great to see if during Na'Vi's year, right, where everything did look like it was finally going their way, where they finally were beating Astralis, if that's able to be picked up again. There's a lot to look forward to, both in the remainder of this matchup and in the rest of the Pro League with those grand finals. Which are tomorrow. Yeah, getting Ooh. solidified today and played out tomorrow. 5 p.m. For Heroic right now, it just feels like that the, the, the pressure of this whole situation is starting to show, right? It's all looking a little bit confused. They don't look very, very comfortable right now. They don't look like that posed team or composed team, rather, that we've been so used to seeing. And I think that's that's in part to the fact that Astralis, they are looking confident, right? We're starting to see, like, these these characterizations of it with like the pushes the relentless aggression the fact that in every one of these rounds there's been someone from the astralis squad where they shouldn't be getting information getting kills in the round prior it was magis before that it's been device pushing playground this is a technical timeout just to let you all know and it is exactly 17 hours 48 minutes and five seconds exactly wow until the matchup starts. That's some live math for you. Now, either way, if it's Heroic or Astralis in the grand finals against Navi, it's Navi going in with a one map advantage coming in from the upper bracket. So there's that to consider as well. It's not a best of three, it's a best of five with one map already leaning for Navi. Yeah, and I mean, even even worrying or exciting, depending how you look at it, right? We haven't really seen Navi on Vertigo. So like that's something they, they just straight up ban. Will that be continuing? Stralis, honestly, probably pretty happy with that one. But if that would come through in a grand final in a high stakes matchup, that would be a cool concept too. Yep. Tom Hanks here on your screen. And here are the fan cams. ESL.gg slash fan cam. It's up there at the very top. You can't miss it. This is how you get it on the stream. And this is also how Ollie gets to ban you if you're doing something ridiculous in there. If you wouldn't do it in the supermarket, don't do it in the fan cams. Uh, yeah, it's a good rule. Then again, in 2020, I'm not sure what to make of the supermarket. So still just waiting for one reconnection into the server. Yeah, Strauss on, on in control, though, on the ball, right? Glaive's already got an MP9, as they know the Heroic Rico in this round. There may be armor, but uh, not a lot behind it. device you know he's been I, I don't even want to say he's been quiet but like we haven't needed him to be loud in this second map he's had some great rounds on the t side getting a lot of entries up on a getting a lot of position through long yeah that's what i was going to say right i think for device in this in this game you don't need to look at the kills that he's got you need to look at the ground and the info that yeah. he's gained for astralis right might not be the, the the biggest fragger in the server but my oh my he's been pushing mid ct side he's been like solidifying these these b stats or these com pushes on the back of that information. And as you say, T side, he was just unrelenting with how much aggression he was putting up long, always making Heroic have to worry about these long plays late in the round, denying any kind of stacks down towards Con and B for the uh, Heroic CT side. His impact has been great, even if he doesn't necessarily have the incredible stats to back it up. Well, you know... And we don't have to go too far into this. Come on, we're not going to. Okay. But we all know, well, at least all of us on the Twitter sphere, we've seen the tweets coming out of the Astralis camp about Heroic. We know what's been said on the back of the Hunden news that broke. So, not only are we playing for, like, you know, like the King of Denmark type of status here, but also the ha-ha from Astralis. It's one way of putting a trace. That's the most eloquent way I could think of. Sorry. Speaking of elegance, Harry will now do a tap dance. <laughs> I, I was what hoping. Do you think of that? I was really hoping we'd have the camera up for that, oh. but it's fine. Since we don't, what we'll do? I rehearsed instead, the whole thing. I know. You just just save it for a different time. We're gonna go to a pro tip about overpass. Let's find out.
Hey Future Pros! Today I wanted to show you a setup Heroic used to get a free cheesy kill on a CT playing towards B short boost spot. Overpass has a lot of double and triple nade possibilities but let's start with this one. For this pro tip you will need 3 Future Pros, 3 HEs and 1 molly. Future Pro number 1. You will be throwing the short molly to stop any CTs from pushing and one of the HEs. To throw your molly you will need to stand on the edge of this shadowy area. Aim at the bottom center of the B then jump throw the molly. Next, make your way to the surf ramp. Look for this dark line and stand in front of it. Aim to the right of this grate along this line. Then simply running jump throw the nade and you are set. Future Pro number 2, you'll be throwing the other HE. Head to the same surf wall and position yourself between these two white cracks. Aim along this line of the grate halfway to the right side. Then running jump throw the HE. Future Pro number 3, guess what you'll also be throwing? A HE. To throw yours, head to the surf wall with your other Future Pros. Stand over the bottom corner of this red smudge. Aim along the second line of the grate close to the center. Then running jump throw the HE. If anyone is close to the boost, they will take some hefty damage. If they are unlucky enough to be boosting, well, you probably get two free kills. Happy nading. Of course, it's Freiburg there with the pro tip. And for us, we are just waiting for... Someone in the server, I'm not going to say who, I'm going to leave it up to you guys, it's a mystery. We're going to be going to a quick break, we're going to come back straight into the game, and no, this isn't scripted. We'll be right back, everybody. Don't die around this neighborhood. We used to sell a double pills, young and misunderstood. My homie, tell me what is changing from your point of view. A smaller circle, but the range is on some deja vu. I recognize my future, and there is nothing with you. Unless you turn your boat around, success might come recruit you. But unless you analyze in depth, that we're steps away from death. A thousand possibilities act on a Johnny Depp. For real. Cause we're alone sometimes. Trying to know what brought, brought us down in here. I don't wanna be stuck in countless towns. I just wanna smile and run away from here. I swear to God, man, I just wanna be a model for my brothers. Hey, I just gotta work until I'm on the covers. Hey, hey, I just gotta work until my sons are covered. Hey, hey, I just wanna make it proud to be my mother. Wish we could learn how to love our mistakes. Straight from the jump and I wait for an answer. Wish we could smile when it's rough nowadays Change our reactions You just gotta love yourself You just gotta love yourself You just gotta love yourself You just gotta I don't feel the same way I used to do 
There's no defense, I'll buy it if I want it I'm going supersonic, come on back for it Alright, okay, running out of luck Too much in my club, Nishi run it up Why you always tripping like you top? Cause you not my team pop Shawty, I know Why, why you always tripping like you top? Cause you not my team pop My team pop
Keep the energy high as they come and they go I believe in myself and I'm taking it home I'm stepping it up to another level Time moving faster than ever before They don't really know about honesty But they don't really grow honestly I cannot be stuck constantly Consciously is a part of me All I ever know is coming my way Yeah, cold out of stone Stay out of my lane Zooming with our regularly scheduled programming, but just with a slight delay. And that's completely fine, too. We have quite the matchup on our hands. And well, for Heroic, it's time to bounce back. Astralis just a few rounds away from putting themselves in a grand final versus Navi. And after a tech delay, we can only, you know, just guess as to what's going to happen now with these two teams. So we're here on overpass, and the game is as close as it could possibly be. 12 to 10, and we're glad to have you. How does the pace get changed after this, right? It's not going to matter too much because Heroic are pretty broke, but do they speed things up? Do they try and catch Astrala sleepy? It's not easy to do. Device back in the middle of the orb. There's a scout for Cadian. Does get seen. Device avoids it. Back to the A site with you. Yeah, that's not necessarily what they call him, Sleepy Joe Astralis. It's just not really got the same ring to it, I think. Device not looking to sleep on anyone. In fact, he puts Tessis to sleep. That is the end of that. And... Well, for a round, just garnering some pistols for Heroic, somewhat to be expected. Yeah, but Device is looking to give us something special here in the toilets. Ooh, Tags okay. Cadian back, but this pistol player in Nico okay. will get the better of him. And Glaive has now been deleted as well. There's an AWP in the hands of Nico. And they're still nervous. Yeah, this could still get out of hand, right? This could still get snuck past the keeper. Astralis in a three on four. 
Sending Dupree on a bit of a scouting mission in through long, while the rest of Heroic are now setting up to hit the A site. Magisk is rotating up to A, and that's because of s -Tag's forward position outside of B. Now, what I will say is, is if the bomb rotated through connector, B would be empty. And also, if it goes A, s -Tag is so far away that you are relying on Magisk and Dupree to do the bulk of the damage here. It is going to be the A play. Magisk on the truck. They're already close. He does deal with Borup. Looking to follow up, but Stown besting Dupree. And now all the attention is on Magisk inside of this site. There's another for him. The Hello. bomb going down. He's not able to stop that, but he is still putting wow. up numbers until Stown puts a stop to him. And Kadian is there with the AWP as well. Heroic. They take a short break and now they come back in with round number 11. Ooh. Just to clarify, that was a technical pause on the Astralis side, not, not on the Heroic side. Yeah, coming in, revitalize those Stown. Some incredible shots there with a the Deagle finding Dupree out long and even the last player who swings him on the site, Kadian him with the retrieved AWP does do the damage to shut out that late B rotate. And yeah, this is a heroic, a new look, an eco win, and a bite back into this matchup. Keep in mind, they're already a map down. They lost their pick of Vertigo. They're looking for the full reverse sweep if they want to win this series and go to the grand final. Strala still with money yet. One more buy before they're broke. If they lose this, that could really put heroic right in the crosshair of a third map. Thoughtical mid take for Tessas, keeping Astralis out. They'll retake long instead with the reaggression. The device all posted. Dupree pushed. Back down connector. Heroic want to clear everything out before they commit to anything. Don't want a player in their back line, but Glaive looks to be that guy pushing up on the short side. He gets traded. Nico catches him, knife out, running right back. I just could jump spot for information as Heroic is set up outside of B. That bomb is still late in spawn. Will it be the long player going back to get it? Or up is closer. Heroic still defaulting, still coming up with an idea as to where they want to end right now. Don't have any more information other than there are B players. And there are A players. And that is true. 2-2 two, two per site. We smoke on the monster from Magisk, and that will stall things out yet. Yeah, Kadian taking a sweet time. Speaking of the time, we're down to 30 seconds in the round. So. Ooh, yeah, deep right. re. Here's the <laughs> footsteps. Kadian. Not ready for a close player. And now Device, he's given an AWP's playground here. They're going to come up short side. All three of them, one already crossed to the flower beds, but Device, he's cutting them down. Does fall back into the bank. Uh-oh. On plant coming through for Stown and Nico, but a two on four. And looking for the man they lost at long. Dupree wins that out. And Stown okay. dropped by Device as him and Dupree hold down that A site between the two of them. Astralis are quick to respond with a 13th. They don't want to let Heroic long this game out. Nah. Device staying alive in that site, pretty pivotal. So good stuff there on him. He does the dance around the bomb box. Some might even call it dice. Call it whatever you like, but it's still an Astralis round. Yeah, that was the catch, right? It's Dupree being pushed on long. He was in the previous round, but he came back late. And so Heroic never actually had that information. And in an instant, that retake is done, uh, done, gone. Pushed under the sofa. Stralis, 13 to 11, salvaged their own money. Heroic forced by back in. Remember, they won an eco, so they've still got a bit to spare. Kadian on the orb again has got to show us why. Him the device, Dupree. Oh, day sees a player wide with that nade. So much damage, damage done by the HE, but still Nico got deep. He eats another one, helped out by device who's now posted up on the party as well. Dupree tucked in the toilets. Device can take a shot, fall back, and they might not even expect Dupree in this position. It's long all over again. Device, mollied out, has to give it up. Dupree swaps sides with that smoke, and Heroic filter out through mid. So creepy, too. Oh, this could give them a bit of a false sense of security, uh -oh. though. They've gone through the smoke. Device, while well, he does get away with one, it's now Dupree and his responsibility to clean up the toilets. And here he is, toilet brush in hand, Dupree doubling down, and Nico falling back in the sight. It's all onto Stown. 1v4, Astralis about to reach 14, and yet in less Stown, with 55 seconds left, no bomb, nothing going his way. Is able to deliver us one hell of a clutch. He does deal with Dupree, but Stown, he's been pretty quiet in this series. Not the usual man that we look to.
If there ever was a time to change that up, it's right here, right now. 40 seconds left on this clock, so time is not his friend. Astralis are not his friend either. So Stown's got to try and roll with the punches here. Edging forward, looking to get the bomb. S-Tag and Magisk back inside of the site to deal with. This is quite the duo to run into. And Glaive just making sure there's no funny business coming from the B-side. Not a whole lot of time to work out here, is there, Stown? Yeah, he needs the plot, and yeah, he's not going to get it. S-Tag swings from the truck. That's the problem with 10 seconds left. Like, even if he runs in and say he deals with S-Tag at truck and that round goes a bit different, he would be in a spot where there's like seven seconds. He has to plot. A Magis can just hide at dice and trade that out. That's really well played from Astralis. They send Dupree out. They're like, yeah, Dupree, we're 4v1. Go give it a look in. He finds out where Stown is and the rest of the gang just hide. They just don't give him any options to get back into that 1v3. Kadian again gets robbed, right? Like, Device was exposed to the toilet players, but as they come through the smoke, he edges forward and even kills the T-side Orpa right before he gets traded. B-Rush for Heroic. They're setting up quick. S-Tag has yet to realize, but flashes come through and there's a lot of them. Everyone's blind. Heroic, they've just run him down. Jumping over the top with Stan with two off the MAC-10. That is one change of pace that Astralis were not ready for. Fully flashed out. They've got to save. Wow. This round done in an instant. Yeah, Heroic just hard charge it right there. Not a care in the world. They say, you know what? You'll put us on a... You'll put us close to map point. Not a problem. We got something for you. Speed, violence, momentum. What else do you need? Ooh, up the ladder. Here comes Cadian. He's got the deagle. Grenade right down could do some damage. They dodge it for now. Astralis will get away with their weapons at least. Heroic can't chase them any more than that. And Heroic, they just love these low economy rounds. Kadian dies to the bomb Reason. in the short. But uh, yeah, they won the eco coming back off the back of the pause, right? That was even less to show for. This time it was a force against 14, trying to keep themselves in it, not wanting to play overtime. And it's down, coming alive with two on the MAC-10. Look at how blind and lost S-Tag and Glaive are inside of B. They've yet to have to deal with any of these fast approaches. And that's why Astralis are only two on the lower site. They're going to start to stack it, you see, throwing three down lower with device on the monster smoke from above. Even blind sure that doesn't happen again. And even blind, they're just running into each other repeatedly, right? Repeatedly. Maybe oh. repeatedly too. Another B rush, and this time Glaive and Magis get away with a lot of damage. Now three players inside of B. This is gonna be a rough one for Heroic. They have to try and break through this defense somehow. There's so many smokes down, is lost in them and falls on the head of S-Tag. Device um. with the Org, dropping the bomb, dropping a double and leaving it all on Cadian, who does spot Dupree, but this fight could go either Whoa. way and it's gonna be <laughs> Dupree closing oh. that one out. Oh, 15 man. for Astralis, map and series point, just one away from locking in a grand final versus Na'Vi. Man. And talk about containing the problem right there for Astralis. They do absolutely that. Heroic think they can go back to what worked in the round prior, and that's just not what happens. Here we go. If you're at home, if you're watching from Twitch chat, if you're in your living room, it doesn't matter. Now might be the time to rise to your feet. And do the wave. See if you can sync that up between all of you individually. Oh, Heroic, they've had so little success in this T side. They're going back to all that's really worked in these gun rounds, in these late rounds. It's the B play. This time a little bit stalled out. Utility going over the top, and again, three for Astralis. S tag in with one. Stan will trade it out, but there's more support coming from Con side. Dupree putting it in the advantage of Astralis. And now Glaive wrapping in as well. Astralis might have got this one dead to rights. It's Jeez. one man left, and Astralis, it looks like they've done it. Cadian doing all he can, but it's not going to be enough. It is in vain, and Astralis, they do it. They lock in a grand final placing versus Na'Vi, their first Pro League grand final in two whole years. And we're going to see them go toe-to-toe -to -toe with CIS's best.
every subject and the trapper keeper holds them all neat <laughs> really neat with this velcro clone point nine percent financing the lowest ever from ford one nine on the number one cars in the northwest one nine on ford escort one nine on tempo even one nine on the new 1988 festiva 1.9 percent or cash back get the lowest financing ever on the highest <laughs> Slide back to the future, got my own time It's sipping dope to feel right Got my own 